How goes the night, boy? The moon is down. I have not heard the clock. And she goes down at 12. I take this later, sir. Hold. Take my sword. Take thee that, too. Give me my sword. Who's there? A friend. What, sir? Night at arrest? The king's a bed, and all's well. I dreamt last night of the three weird sisters. To you, they have showed some truth. I think not of them. Yet, when we can entreat an hour to serve, we would spend it on some words upon that business if you would grant the time. At your kindest leisure. Is this a dagger which I see before me, the handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I still see thee still. Art thou not, fatal vision, sensible to feeling as to sight? I see thee yet in form as palpable as this which, I, which now I draw. Thou marshaled me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. I see thee still, and on thy blade and dudgeon grouts of blood, which was not so before, thou sure and firm set earth, Hear not my steps which way they walk, for fear thy very stones prate of my whereabout. I go and it is done, the bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. That which hath made them drunk hath made me bold. What hath quenched them hath given me fire. Hark, peace. It was the owl that shrieked, the fatal bellman which gives the strength good night. I have drugged their posets, that death and nature do contend about them whether they live or die. Who's there? What? Who? Alack, I am afraid they have awaked, and tis not done. Hark, I laid their daggers ready, he could not miss them. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband. I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now. This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. One cried, God bless us, and Amen the other. As they had seen me with these hangmen's hands, listening their fear, I could not say Amen. When they did, did say, God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could I not pronounce Amen? Amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. Methought I heard a voice cry, Sleep no more! Macbeth doth murder sleep. Sleep no more! Macbeth shall sleep no more. Go get some water and wash this filthy with this from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry them and smear their sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. I am afraid to think what I have done. Look on again. I dare not. In firm of purpose, give me the daggers. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms withal, for it must seem their guilt. What is that knocking? How it's with me, when every noise appalls me. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? No, this my hand will rather, the multitudinous seas in incardent, making the green one red. I hear a knocking at the south entry. A little water clears us of this deed. How easy is it then? Hark, more knocking. Get on your nightgown, lest occasion call and show us to be watchers. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. Wake Duncan with thy knocking, O thou cookst. Here's your knocking indeed. If a man were porter of Hell's gate, he should have old turning the key. Knock, 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 who's there? Knock, 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 who's there? Knock, knock. Never at quiet. What are you? But this place is too cold for him. Anon, anon! Was it so late, friend, ere you went to bed, that you do lie so late? Fraser, we are carousing to the second call. I believe Dreek gave thee the lie last night. But it did, sir. Is thy master stirring? Mm -hmm. Our knocking has awakened him. Here he comes. Good morrow, Bo. Uh, good morrow, noble sir. Is the king stirring, worthy thing? Not yet. He did command me to call timely on him. I'll bring you to him. I'll make so bold to call, for tis my limited service. Twas was a rough night. Oh, whore, whore, whore. What's the matter? Confusion now hath made his masterpiece. See, and then speak yourselves. Awake, awake, ring the alarm bell. Murder and treason, banquet Donald Bain, Malcolm. Awake, shake off this downy sleep and look up death itself. Ring the bell. What's the business? Speak, speak. Oh, gentle lady, tis not for you to hear what I can speak. 
Oh, Binkle, Binkle, our rogue master's murdered. Oh, well, well, alas, what, in our house? Too cruel anywhere. What's the myth? You are and do not know it. Your royal father is murdered. Oh, by whom? Those of this chamber, as it seemed, had done. Oh, yet I do repent me of my fury that I did kill them. Wherefore did he so? Who can be wise, amazed, temperate, and furious, loyal, and neutral in a moment? No man, here lay Duncan, his silver skin laced with his golden blood, there the murderers, steeped in the colors of their trade, their daggers unmannerly breached with gore. Who could refrain? Head of me hence, ho. Look to the lake. Why do we hold our tongues? Where should be spoken here? That's the way. Look to the lady. What will you do? Let's not consort with them. Out to England. To Ireland, I, where we are, the staggers and hence smiles. How goes the world, sir, now? Why? See you not? Is it known who did this more than bloody deed? Those that Macbeth hath slain. Alas, the day. What good could they pretend? They were suborned, Malcolm and Donald Bain. The king's two sons are stolen away and fled, which puts upon them the suspicion of the deed. Where is Duncan's body? Carried to Colmkill, the sacred storehouse of his predecessors and guardian of their bones. Will you just go? No, cousin. I'll to Fife. May you see things well done there. Adieu. Farewell, father. God's venison go with you.